Another video. Hey, welcome back to another tutorial. In this one, we're going to look into React Hook Forms Set Arrows API. And just as the name described, this is for when you actually want to set a custom error. For example, you want to set in an error outside of your validation rule, or you want to set in an error coming from the service. So let's get into the code sandbox and have a play with the API. Now in this code sandbox, I've prepared a, a simple form and let's experience the set arrow API right away. And we can retrieve the set arrow from the user form hook. And the next thing you obviously want to subscribe to the form state of all the errors. In that way, we actually subscribing to the arrows object and all the re-render will occur once we're setting down a custom error. Cool. Next, let's give it a button. And in this case, we're gonna call that set error and give it a type as button, give it an on click on top, and also invoking the API. Now notice the first thing that we didn't have any type check, and the name is being typed as a string. That's because first we didn't have any generic being declared at the user form level, which is in here. And secondly, we didn't even providing a default value. So it's always a good practice to providing a default value for user form so you can enable all these type inference. So let's go with default values and then we give it a first name as a string for default value. Cool. Now. We got successfully type check against the register API and set arrow actually works. Cool. The next and second argument is really declaring your type of error and the error message. So let's give it a type, say call it custom, and give it a message as something is wrong. Cool. Now we successfully actually setting up the API invocation. The next part, we want to obviously print something onto the UI. So let's give it a P tag. And what we can leverage is we can use straight away from the arrows object. And notice TypeScript actually give us uh, a prompt of the input that actually associated with the form. So we can go first name. And the next thing we can check from there on, it's going to be optional. So we're going to use optional chain um, to leverage that uh, object. So we're going to say question mark door message. Cool. Let's just quickly try that out. If I click on set error, we got the error message print on the screen. Nice. Cool. The next thing we want to actually look into, what if I want to have multiple error gets associated with the input? Now that's particularly useful when you're actually building, for example, a password validation where you have multiple rules assigned to your individual inputs. Now the first thing to unlock that feature is you have to set the criteria mode to be all. Now by default, React took form with focus on that very first arrow and break. When you're setting them to all, that way we can actually providing a multiple arrow message. In this case, we can be providing types to your input so we can say type test is gonna be test is wrong and we're gonna have another one which is gonna be test one is wrong that way we can print out both message on the screen in that way we instead of accessing the message node straight away we can go with types and then hitting that test and we can have another paragraph which associated with test one now let's quickly validating that. If we press set error, we got both message print on the screen. Uh, I've got a typo in here. Cool, nice. So the other things I want to actually quickly touch is the error associated with a field validation. Now most of people think, okay, now that I set an error, and the moment I actually press the submit, this will block uh, the submission. Actually, the case is not really. Why? Because in React hook form, every individual input will have associated rule against them. So 
for example, I can say this is going to be required to be true. Those set arrow, it's actually happen manually. So the source of truth for the validation will still live against your input or the schema validation that you declared. So every time you press a submit and go through handle submit, React Hook form will ignore all those custom errors that you actually made and referring back to the original input that you have validation associated with. And that way, this will only check required. So for example, if I do set error and if I submit now, it's going to block because all the validation is going to be wiped away and referring back this as a source of truth. Now, you might be asking, okay, so what happens if I have some server-side error? And this is why whenever you declare a server-side error, you should actually declare it outside your input. Now, let me just showcase uh, on this kind of scenario. Now, if you have a server-side error, I would recommend you declare a, a generic uh, for your form values. In this case, it's going to be first name as a string, and then we can have a custom error as a string as well. In that way, we can actually associate to a custom error, not to an input. In, that, in this case, when we actually associate with the type, say server side, and give it a message as server return false. I've got a typo in here. And we can successfully switch that off as well. In this case, now when I submit, this is going to actually block the submission. Because why? Because now there's no input actually associated with custom error. And when React took form, look up all this register input, it will see the input is actually missing. So this will actually become the source of truth to blocking the submission. So in order to fix that, you can use a clear arrows API. Now this is one thing pretty important to remember, and we have documented that uh, on the site as well. So we always seeking for the single source of truth, whether it's associated with the input or something that you manually set. Cool. The last thing I want to get covered is um, that set arrow API actually allow you to actually focus on the arrow as well. So you can go shit focus to be true. And in this case, when I hit the set error, oops, ah, sorry, made a mistake. If I set that to be as associated input, now that's actually very important. The, the input allowed us to focus, need to actually provide an input reference. So once that's get provided, now you see you can actually successfully focus on the input. Cool. I think that's pretty much what I want to cover for a set to error. Although I had touched clear errors a little bit, uh, I will have a dedicated video for that API as well. So I guess to summarize everything, it's important to know that set error will actually setting a temporarily error message or error type for your input validation. Well, if you're setting a type that doesn't have any input associated with, this will have a hard block on your submission. Cool. I think that's pretty much it. I will see you in the next video tutorial. Take care. Bye.